Stevenson falls to Randolph making the night 1-0 in extra time. Glenn Clark with head coach Graham Miller. Coach, uh, you guys didn't get one in the back of the net, but it wasn't for the shortage of chances. You had a lot of opportunities, just couldn't couldn't sneak one in. Well, we got to change, uh, you know, change the mentality of this program. We, we, we you know, the first half was, um, you know, back to the old ways of the Stevenson men's program. They were, you know, arguing with each other. It was a very inconsistent performance compared to the last performances. Um, so I was very unhappy the first half performance, and you know, they weren't playing as men. They were, you know, um, you know, talking to each other as if they, you know, hated each other. And that's something we need to change pretty quickly. But they did, and I'll give them credit. The second half, you know, eight shots to seven, and uh, even in overtime, is pretty even. You know, we we did a lot better and so they learned from it but we've got to play a 90 minute game and 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 if we had did that the first half and not being you know on our back toes you know the whole first half because we're you know not ourselves I think you know I think we could have had a better chance of winning this game uh you know in, in the 90 minutes um and again we had the chances you know we had the chances once somebody's got to put it away you know they they took their chance and and uh we got to put our chance away and as simple as that you, you, in these close games somebody has to step up and put the ball in the back of the net you know, you say that, it sounds so simple, right? But, like, you've gone now back-to-back -back matches without scoring. You guys scored goals this season. What's the difference between early in the year when you were putting the ball in the back of the net and now? Well, that's, I mean, that's it. In these close games, somebody has to step up and, and, and put that ball in the back of the net. you got to finish. I mean, they finish in practice. They finish, finish, finish. we got to step up. we got to put that ball in the back of the net. Somebody has to do it in these close games. If, we got, if we're going to win games like this, we got to put the ball in the back of the net. We can't say enough about your goalie, Jake Brown, who made play after play after play tonight. And uh, his family's really proud of him, and I don't blame him for that because he was outstanding. Yeah, Jake Brown did a great job. You know, 11 saves on the night, I think. And, you know, he really kept us in it that first half when we, we really had one of our, uh, our poorest uh, 45 minutes of the season so far. So very, you know, I told the guys at halftime, the reason why we were still at 0-0 zero -zero is because of Jake Brown. And, and we, can't, we can't put that much pressure on him. We've got we've to stop those shots going in. And, and Jake, when he, when, we, when he had to make the saves today, he did. And, you know, can't fault him for the last goal. It's just, you know, a breakaway one-on-one. -on -one and, you know, we gave that up. You guys head back out on the road this Saturday for a, a test. What do you expect the Catholic? Uh, another tough one. You know, this schedule's not easy. It doesn't get any easier. So uh, we got to be ready to go again against Catholic and, and pick up our heads and, and be positive and have a good couple of training sessions and be ready to go as a team and not as individuals on Saturday. Coach, thanks so much. Thanks, buddy. He is Coach Graham Miller. I'm Glenn Clark. This is GoMustangSports.com.